Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Mega Modded Gungeon. It is about that time and my phone is still in my pocket and it's bothering me so I'm going to take it out and we're going to carry on and do a little run. I'm just going to do the paradox. I'm going to jump back into the modded characters pretty soon though. I want to play as my good old piggy boy, my favourite character. I think he's my favourite character at least. Starts with a good shotgun. Love the ability to utilise shots more often so I'm going to play as him in the next episode I think. But for this one... Let's jump in for a regular old paradox and see what we start with. Ooh, we got something unlocked, lovely. Um, we get ourselves the Grandfather Glock. Do you know what? I'm gonna re- If I ever get a vanilla item that's like, like, just really boring as paradox, I'm just gonna restart. I want- I don't- I don't want an overpowered start, although I'd accept one. It's more that I just want something interesting, and immunity to poison is very, very, very dull. So, let's run that back. And see if we get something more into it. Interesting. Um, 38 special is not very good, but R2G2, I will take him because he is a, he is a pretty good fella. So let's just let's just stick with this, even though our weapons aren't that great. 38 specials, nothing special. But I do, yeah, I do like R2G2. Anyways, back on for some Gungeon. Glad to be back doing this series again. I'm really enjoying it. I've been enjoying doing the episodes with Nevernamed as well, which of course more shall come. Do not worry, more of those shall be on their way. Um, I'll make sure to try and record with him every now and again. Probably won't be, obviously, every episode, but we can, I'm sure we can find time during the week to get a few done. It's just difficult with our time zone differences sometimes, but hey-ho. At the minute, I've been playing a hell of a lot of Baldur's Gate 3. Um, I actually I got it when it first came out, and I was playing it and enjoying it, but I ended up stopping playing it for a while because my old PC, uh, it was crashing a lot when I was playing. Oh, it was a bit of a bad hit there. Uh, it was crashing a lot when I was playing, um, just due to my PC like overheating and stuff. It just wasn't really quite up to the spec, I don't think. Uh, which was kind of annoying, but um, yeah, 2G2, good on you, fella. Um, but yeah, so that, that was a bit annoying, but since I've got my new PC, I can play everything on like max settings now, so I've, uh, I've been playing it again, and I've actually, I know that this probably is like ill-advised, or most people would sort of not frown upon this, but wouldn't recommend it. Um, I have, I've never finished the game. I got through, like, Act 1, my first one. But I started a new save file, and I'm modding this time. I'm playing a, a modded playthrough. Um, and it's nothing crazy. It just has, like, some new spells and stuff. Um, and, like, quality of life things. But it's quite nice to be able to play with all these mods. And then there's some, like, rebalance mods and stuff in there. And I've been really, really enjoying it. I think it's just... It's a genuinely, obviously, very good game. I'm pretty sure literally everyone and their dad knows it's a good game nowadays. But, um... It's just one of those games that you can proper sink your teeth into. And, like, it, no matter how hard you try to find every little secret, you're always going to miss stuff. And it's like, that sounds like a bad thing, but it's not. That's, like, such a good thing that there's so much opportunity for things to see. Ooh. All chests are replaced by either C or D tier chests, but spawn four at a time. Hell to the yes. That sounds very stupid. And I want it. <laughs> it. It is a little bad for, uh, obviously, getting better, higher tier stuff. But realistically, we can maybe get those from the shop or boss items. Like we did with R2G2 in terms of spawning with it. So there is other methods. Ooh, also, keys galore right now is uh, rather nice. Um, I'll take some curse off the bat. Hey, cheese boots isn't bad for a speed up. I'll open this up as well for the LT Blues Phaser unfamiliar with this. The Plasma Blaster of a Col... Um... Col... Color... Scant? I don't know how to pronounce that. Color Scant? L um... Lieutenant. Whose platoon was stranded in the Gungeon in a bygone age. Cool. It's also got good ammo. Oh, okay. Okay, it's a little... It's a little weird. Ah, bad hits. It's a little weird. It's a little wacky. But I can get down with it. Kind of slow. I think it's piercing as well. Seems good. Oh, hello. You are you are new to me. You're uh, like king of the people. Lots of uh, lots of cheap stuff in there, but um, we did just spend all of our money on the withered clover. Probably just want to stick with what we've got for now. And pretty good active. Pretty good active. I like that. Seems like a decent fire rate on this thing as well. Good, good. Cool. More ammo for this bad boy as well. Right. Let's go do the boss. That's not the boss. 
maybe should buy some HP, but I think I'll be okay. Yeah, that didn't really do much to him. But this thing, this thing, I think because it's inaccurate, it has high damage. Normally things that are a little hard to hit all the shots have pretty decent damage. This definitely seems to be one of those things. Because it seems to me that it's kind of shredding. For uh, the amount of ammo it's got and the tier it's at, it's doing a very, very good job of dealing high damage. Nice. That felt very good. Um, ooh, good gun there as well. Good old Blasterina. Now, something that I haven't really sort of considered. How many keys are we going to require to open up all these goddamn chests? So I'm not going to go oubliette here, just because I think I might actually need all of said keys. We'll find out. But it's been a little while since I've uh, hyper light blasted, but I do I do quite enjoy it. And like I said as well, this is going to be our way of getting higher tier loot. I mean, we've already seen um, the hyper light blaster here already, which is great. I'm pretty happy with what we've got so far. And yeah, we'll kind of see how the shop, how the item rooms play out, because, yeah, we might need quite a lot of keys with this Withered Clover. Unless they all spawn open, which they might. I, I have had Withered Clover before, so technically I should know, but I just don't remember. Oh, Lord. A lot happened there. Hopefully we can get one of the Hyper Light Blaster synergies. I played through this game on my YouTube channel, actually, the, the uh, Hyper Light Drifter. Very, very good game. Really, really enjoyed it. It's definitely got some difficulty in it, but yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it as a whole. Okay. Any rooms that have a lot of enemies we want to be using our active on. Our active will pretty much decimate a room. So, like, this wave, not really worth it, but this wave, pretty good. I did miss one of those then. Oopsie. Uh, as you can see with this weapon, we've got to hit our targets, otherwise we lose ammo. Although, I suspect most of you already knew that. But it means that it's incredibly strong, which obviously we like. Look at that. One-shotting most of these guys. Boom. There you go. Right. I'm interested to see our first chest room here. Some of the smaller generated chest rooms are going to be really wacky here. Built different. Gain health and scaling damage, but gain size. Oh, that seems fun. Enemies bear best to bullets on death. Um, best deal damage to anything. Cleanse curse. Charges casings. Oh, that, I might I might take built different. That sounds fun. Okay, so I don't need keys. It's good to know. So what do we get there? We got... The Holy Water Gun, which can remove cares from us. We got the Alligator, um, Alchemical Gun, and we got the uh, Cell Lancelot, which I quite like. This thing just allows you to zoom. <laughs> Amazing. We can actually try out the Alligator this time, because we didn't have it last time. I didn't really get a proper chance to play around with it. You can see it sends like electric currents down to enemies deal damage. It's really visually a very beautiful weapon. Oh. Oh, the sound effects. Oh my lord, they're lovely. Okay. Was not expecting this. Okay. Most certainly was not expecting to get four cogs of battle. I don't even think they would stack in any meaningful way, so that's a little unfortunate. <laughs> Apparently synergy chests are coded in, a, in such a way that makes that happen. But yeah, um, I can't remember exactly how this works. I think it's, it does extra damage to jammed enemies, and killing a jammed enemy reduces our curse. This is a way to basically manage our curse, which is pretty nice. Beautiful stuff. We should really use Cog of Battle as much as we can, effectively. The damage boost is good. And like I said, I don't, don't think it'll stack, but it might. You never know. You never know. 
lovely stuff. I really should use it on this as well, but I can't fire a bullet at the wall with this thing, so... My bad. Then we got a long thing. I mean, we don't need keys, apparently, so... Might as well. Sure thing, lad. Sure thing. What you got for us? The fat line. Not bad, not bad. So I'm gonna mix up these two, I think. Spread the alligator. And then, I think I can just, yeah, like, leave that going. Seems to be working pretty well. Easy. So now, if I if I think this works the way I think it does, if I go and get my holy water and kill you, that reduced my curse, yeah. Oh, mahogany as well. Gotta love it. Gotta love some mahogany. Um, I think we're good to go here. I think we are good to go. Interesting run thus far. Interesting run thus far. But yeah, very much like Mahogany. I'll be using that for a good bit. I think it's one of my favourite guns in vanilla. Which may surprise some people, but... It's one of those guns that, like... It's just... Solid. It's just very decent. It's like the, um... I forget the name of it now. The Big Iron. It's just... It's nothing special. It's just good, and it's like super duper duper ammo efficient as well. 350 shots, and this thing is amazing. Also, the sound effects on it are just, just beautiful. They're very satisfying. But the fact that it has like the leaf shots as well as the explosive pine cone, it's just nice. Um, I'm, I'm going to regain the ammo on this bad boy. Now, this is a room of my own creation. I will come to regret that, I'm sure. That wasn't too bad, actually. But there's more. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad if you know what you're doing. Okay, that mushroom is a little bit horrible. Excuse me, good sir. <laughs> R2G2 getting in there. Literally barrel stuffing him. Uh, we can get out this bad boy. Probably gonna use the alligator mainly on bosses. I wonder why it's called the alligator. That's be a reference to something that I'm not understanding. And shop-wise, we got the decoy, which I think does have a synergy with this. So, I'm gonna take it. I know that I like this, but the synergy with, um... With mahogany. I don't I can't remember what it does now. In fact, let me go and have a little look see. Um ETG Wiki Mahog Mahogany. Right, synergies, hardwood. If the player also has decoy, mahogany fires four explosive pine cones at a time and no longer fires leaves. That sounds Fucking awesome. Yeah, I, I, I have had the synergy before, and I do remember it being good, and I've improved from right. We also do now have the uh, opportunity to steal because of decoy, so that's not a bad thing at all. Ooh, I didn't see there was two of them over here. There is a lot going on right now. Yeah, I like this quite a bit. This seems pretty strong. Do you know, I ought to really roll out the way of shots when they're coming at me. Would be a good idea, wouldn't it? I've just kind of it, eaten quite a lot of shots in that room for no good reason. Kill you before you spread your little bubbles about. Ooh, armor. Makes me feel better about all the hits I just took. Ah! And then I, I immediately lose it. The spreading is actually kind of nice as well. 
I should get a bit more, uh, a bit more enemies hit in one go. Who's left? Oh, he's in the cart. This plus a uh, cog of war as well is, is proving good. I mean, the explosions don't gain benefit from cog of war. Um, they're flat. They're flat, flat damage. But the um, the actual impact of the pine cone will gain a damage damage boost. So that's not bad. Oh, no. I was going to take that size increase item on the last floor, and I completely forgot. I really apologize. What was it called? I can't remember what it was called now, either. I'd just spawn it in if I could remember what it was called. That's that that that's annoying for the developer and for me, because that, that seemed like a really interesting item that I wanted. Bollocks. Why am I so forgetful? I was just thinking, oh, what can I steal? I was like, oh, I could steal from the Curse Woman shop. Check my map. No longer here. My bad. Very much my bad. Good, good explosions destroying a few shots here and there. Remember what explosions used to just be so busted and destroy all the shots. Ah, they're all the same anyways. I tried to wait, but... I mean, this one at least stacks. Bug boots does not stack. Hello. Hmm. Don't really think I have anything I can give you, my good sir. I apologize. The weapon trading guy. Well, not weapon trading specifically, but item trading guy. But I don't think I have anything for him. Lovely bit of he healing there, thank you. Okie dokie. Let me best. Yeah, we ended up getting poison immunity anyways, even though we gave it up the first time around. Ooh, that guy got a shot off right as he died then. Kind of threw me for a loop. Did not mean to get hit by it. And we got one of these rooms. I was like, wait, there's only one chest here. But that's because this isn't a real room. It's a fake. And we got ourselves the gravity glove. Gives you the hyper disc increased throwing gun damage 100%. Throwing guns will hurt on enemies, causing a mini blank on impacts. And will fly back towards you. Um, will respawn the hyper disc at the start of the next floor if lost somehow. Kind of fun. Kind of funky. The mini blanket on top of it is like the icing on the cake of it though. Wouldn't be that good without it. We got over here. Okay, boss time. Nope, wrong weapon. Mahogany and Hyper Blaster, I think. I think Mahogany is honestly going to be really good. I like the way it just keeps following you when it's on the floor. Because then you can just kind of walk around and, like, throw it when you're ready. Just throw it, like, specifically when a mini bank seems useful. Like now. That didn't work. I thought it was going to just destroy them all with the blank, but apparently not. Anyways, we should have him here. There you go. Nicely wrapped up. Ooh, the hammer as well. Right, still going to keep on rocking the mahogany though. It's too good not to. And down we go. Yeah, I need to take from the care shop more often because the items are cheap and they do have some interesting effects. And I'm always looking for ways to make the game, like, not more difficult, but, like, more interesting. It doesn't specifically have to be difficult. I mean, I am willing to take on difficulty, but it's more about, like, making it more interesting than anything else, I think. Right. I can also actually just use decoys to distract enemies as well. I kind of forget that it exists outside of just being useful for that. Uh, for the synergy and stealing. It does also exist as an item you can use to do things. 
like as a decoy. Alright. We have plenty of money though at the minute, so we don't need to steal right now. Um I don't remember what either of these two do. Slime ammo look though is interesting because um it could be quite good with our power glove, potentially. Because it does a mini blank effect, right? Which should trigger the amulet, I think. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try that out. I'm going to give that a steal. And we'll try that out. Also, as well, we have a way to purge the curse off of us as well. So if we steal a lot, we, we're not, like, locked in at a certain curse. We can take some risky biskies. Uh, only 38 more damage. Decoy is ready. Back we go. Shops down there as well. Lovely. Hello, good sir. Take a look at this bad boy. Let's take a little look. Blank slur. Okay, good. And then let's um, slowness for three seconds. So let's pull out the power glove and see if that applies to slowness. It should with a mini blank, but I'm not entirely sure if it will. Check this out first. Ooh, hello. The artillery belt. I am very much wanting to buy that. So um, I'm going to save up to try and get such a thing. It sounds it sounds like a hip holster, but different. Right. Uh, why do I have the wrong weapon as my secondary? Oh, uh, because it's got no ammo. Ah, oh, that's annoying. I can't auto-swap between them because it's got no ammo. Yep, there you go. That was slow. Okay, this is this is pretty good. I quite like this as a, as a sort of a synergy. It's a little bit sketchy to use in like situations like this. I think overall it's quite good. What an interesting little thing. Having a, an amulet set up with this thing could be just insanely good. I mean, like, imagine getting, like, golden amulet or chaos amulet with this. Oh, my lord, it'd be amazing. But even still, it's doing a mighty fine job on its own. A key from every single one of these. Nice. Unfortunately, we got more poison immunity there. And we also have the bomb text stuck on our screen for some reason. I'm going to try and see if I can get that to disappear. Nope. Okay, no, it did disappear. Good. Just in time. But yeah, I think I'm going to keep using the power glove for now. It's uh, it's doing me well, and it's a pretty interesting idea for an item. I think I have used it a bit before. It's the fact that it also applies a little stun as well now. What what I need to do is... What, what, what I ought to do is... Set this up and set the Hyper Light Blaster as my secondary so that I can throw and then immediately switch to the Hyper Light Blaster to finish. I keep switching to the Hammer for some reason. I don't really know why. I'm just going to accept it. Oh, Lord. <laughs> this room still exists. Oops. This, this wasn't me, though. This was Apache. Don't blame me. Let him keep coming. I see you over there. Has to be such a dick. Okay. We're good, we're good. Got our health back. Lovely. Mini boss up here. Hyper Light Blaster will just shred this guy. It would if I could hit my shots, to be fair. Oh my god. Okay, this isn't shredding anywhere near as much as I thought it would. Let's attach a bunch of these. Which, again, aren't really doing as much as I thought they would. Good. 
Took some doing. We got him. Oh, look, a key. Exactly what I needed. To be fair, it does open this chest. And we get the uh, ear key thing. That makes all of our ear keys even better. Um, yeah, I'm kind of like lost on what weapon to use, really. I mean, I could just use this thing and go crazy. I do really like this thing. It's it's just the right level of fucking stupid. Like undeniable fun. Like, absolutely, completely stupid. Oh, ho, 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 ho. The superstar, baby. The superstar's fucking incredible. It's a super tight bear shotgun. It also lobs the shell at them as well. It's, it's kind of amazing. Oh, damn, this thing's got a super, super fast reload if you reload it with an, uh, ammo still in the mag. But, yeah, like... The accuracy is really high because we've got battery bullets as well, so even better. Um, yeah, I guess I'll take it for that. Right. I love it. I can't... There's, 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 there's something else going on with the superstar that I'm not realizing. Why is the reload so all over the place? Reloads one shell at a time. Okay. Can fire loaded bullets to interrupt reload. Yeah, there you go. That's why. It interrupts the reload. Oh, great gun. Anvil and pretty good too. Triple crossbow for slowing. I think I'm going to go with the mermaid gun. Prevents all fall damage and status effects. It's great. And also, with, it's another one where with accuracy it gets even better. Really ought to be working to cargo battle strengths to uh, utilize this thing to the best of my ability, though. Also, just a faster reload, too, which helps. Really? You're going to appear right on top of him? You can't even fire when you're next to him, you goon. Okay. Almost boss time. Also, with electrifying bullets, we're electrifying the water we fire too, which I didn't even think about. Another good reason to use this weapon. And we're immune to the electricity. Because uh, I think battery bullets gives inherent immunity anyways, but even if it didn't, the siren would give us immunity either way. Again, what's our boss weapon going to be? I guess I'll go with this and the Anvilan, maybe. I do quite like the Anvilan. Anvilan's a weapon that I uh, I respect highly. It's it's one of those weapons that it seems like a boss killer, but it's actually kind of more of a room clearer. Like the ammo, the amount of ammo it starts with, leads you to believe it's definitely a boss killer, but it's it's kind of not really. Ah, bad roll. Right, just trying to pay attention to my reloads at the minute. There you go. Yeah, just about done with him. There you go. Asu GT got the finishing blow too. Gotta love that. Uh, what's this? Elevate a button. Not sure what happened, but I lost decoy. I'm not very happy about that. <laughs> I'm guessing it's going to make us replay the last floor or this floor. They said if we could turn back time, I'm pretty sure is the tagline. If we could find a way, I'm not sure. I, I've definitely seen this thing before. I definitely know what it does in the deep dark depths of my mind, but right now I completely forget.
I completely forget. If the game will even load, that is. Come on, game. What are you doing? Did I make an oopsie? The game not happy with me. I'm thinking the game is not happy with me. Oh, no, no. We're on the forge now, apparently, so... Don't really know what that did. Is it just a shortcut to the next floor, maybe? Is that what I just did? And I did it at the end of the floor, so it wasn't even really a shortcut. I basically just traded my decoy for... Instead of walking five steps. I think that might be exactly what I did, you know. Right. I'm going to continue using this gun for now. Oh. The cheese boots, man. The heckin' cheese boots. Also, not having to deal with the fire on the floor right now is very nice. Another good reason to hold this out. Another very good reason to be holding this thing. Okay. Trying to be, like, aggressive, get up in things' faces right now. Weapon just makes me feel like... I don't know, shotguns? I, I love shotguns in video games at the moment. I've been, uh, as always, playing a lot of Call of Duty Warzone, as I tend to do. And I've been using shotguns in that game. Typically, shotguns aren't very good, but in this Call of Duty, they've been very good. And I'm really, really enjoying using shotguns. And just every game. I'm always, I, I'm always like, a go-to shotgun person. I just think they're a really fun way to play. Basically, like, maximum damage, but only if you're really close to enemies. It's just... A fun way to play games. Especially when they can do this sort of damage here. Right. Can't even get hit by those guys. It's beautiful. Right. Okay, R2G2 is actually taking care of him. Nice. Thank you, Atsu G2. You've been a little lad this entire time. The best little fella. Excuse me, guy. You've got to know you're in the way there, right? You've got to know. Okay. The water does a good amount to these guys. I don't know what that noise was then. Hey, more ammo for this. Love that. Where art thou, boss? Where art thou, shop? Ooh. Did you see that then? That uh, that guy's arm ended up hitting my Gwonstone. I quite like that. I don't know if we're going to do bullet hell, you know, on this run. I don't I don't think we quite have it in us. I'll see what I end up getting from my chests and stuff here. There might be something that uh, makes it a little easier. Yeah, doubles our ammo for this gun. I'll take that. Is that more accuracy? Well, maybe, maybe now we're okay. We've got a lot more health now, so. And I just doubled the ammo of this gun, too, so. One ammo drop, and it's this gun all the way. And this with the doubled accuracy bonus, plus, um. Plus Cog of Battle. Doing pretty well. It's got quite a bit of damage. I love the dual wielding guys. They're a bit hectic and a bit difficult, but they're funny. Right, we're on a roll. Ah, fuck it. I don't care about that room. Hey, there you go. 432 ammo. Have you ever seen so much ammo on this goddamn thing? Maybe with ancient bandana, but no other way. One-shotting these guys is good too. Oh, my God. Guess what, guys? I got a bunch of HP, therefore I have to start playing poorly and get hit a bunch. That's just the rules. The rules have been me. I gotta kill the dual wielders as early as possible. Oh, I see. I see you.
Use it. Don't know how the boss is going to be with this weapon. Probably not the quickest. Ah, bugger. Cronenberg shots. Corrupted boss. Ah, oh, bollocks. Eh, fuck it. Why not? It's funny, isn't it? Plus one bullets on top of that. Hell yes. Radgun could be interesting, but... I think I'm going to stick with what I've got going on right now. Right. Corrupted bullets just makes everything wacky. But also, so much more damage. R2-GT still works normally, at least. If you barrel stuff, it kind of works. And we'll find that out here. Um, what happens if I throw? I'll try to test this. Ah, it doesn't get corrupted. Okay. Good to know. Um... I, I guess I'll just continue to use this thing, to be honest. I think it should work pretty well. You see that dodge then, my god, masterful. Ho oh, ho ho, the dodges, boy, the dodges. Ah, and then I don't dodge at all. I'm just sat there, accepted my fate. Don't know how quickly we're going to kill the heart here. I am thinking we're probably going to leave it off here rather than doing a bullet hell. I'm just not super confident in bullet hell right now. Not supremely confident. I think that's okay though. We don't always have to do bullet hell. Don't know why I decided to use fat line there. Just a terrible idea. Terrible idea. Hoya, <laughs> hoya. Easy. There you go. Ali, you. Good tight little run there. We can head off on our way and leave off the episode right here. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed another good old Gungeon episode. I am thoroughly glad to be back playing this game on a more regular basis, and I'm sure you guys are too. I've been enjoying it quite a bit, starting off with that Alexa video. It was fun to get back into it, especially with him. Um, and yeah, now that I've got, like, playing it on my own and playing it with Nevernamed, it's good to be back. Good to be back. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. And with this shot, I'll end off the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.